you know that they recorded that song in one take? Really? My Heart Will Go On, recorded by Celine Dion, was recorded and done in one take. Fair enough. Some people just nail it. Actually, Celine Dion did not want that song to come out. She didn't like it. Originally. And then it made her so much money to where she could pretty much retire off of it. And um, the movie that it was accompanied with, Titanic, went on to become the highest grossing film of all time, for the time, um, and is considered by me to be one of the greatest films of all time. Overhyped in my opinion, but okay. Yeah, it's okay. No, I no, I can under I can understand the scope and scale and how big and grand it is, you know, the fact that they built another Titanic, for God's sakes. And the fact that a lot of the actors were actually in very cold water to to per- properly portray hypothermia and to properly portray uh what it was like back then in that scenario. But honestly, the love story for me is where it's overhyped to the point of where it's like, okay, I know that's where a lot of the world fell in love with Leonardo DiCaprio. I know that's where a lot of young boys in the world experienced their first, uh, hint of nudity in film because the drawing scene. Yeah. That whole scene was awkward for me and my family to sit through. <laughs> Cause here I was a nine, like a, like a eight or nine year old boy. And I'm just sitting there and I'm just like, and my mom looks over at me, and she's just like, she's just like, <laughs> she wanted to say something, but she knew it was too late. <laughs> she knew it was just a little bit too late. Uh, I think I saw it with my mom as well, and she covered my eyes. Oh, that there were no, like, there were no eyes covering and all that. I remembered, uh, I remembered watching it uh, in theaters with my dad and my mom, and just like, like when that scene came, I was like, holy crap. I remember during one uh, during one uh, showing of it, my cousin Zach actually fell asleep during that scene. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess it, hey, prop, perfect timing. He was because I remembered uh, my aunt and uncle. I was up at their house and they were watching it, and all of a sudden I just see Zach over on the couch like. <laughs> <laughs> so, John Tron uh, did a uh, video about Titanic which looks to be a uh, knockoff game of Titanic. Um, yes, I guess. That's interesting. I remember there were all sorts of Titanic games and stuff that came out after the success of Titanic. Uh, a lot of PC games and a lot of like crappy animated movies and all that. Hmm. Um, I guess this is just John Tron going over what, uh, you know, just one of them here. So, uh, Let's see what old John boy's got to say about uh, Titanic. And uh, here we go. (laughs) Normal move. John Tron. No, yeah, no, I, I see what you're talking about. She's right there on the water. But I don't know, man. I, just, I don't think we can make a game out of this. Nah, man, plenty of games have boats that ain't sank yet. I mean, look at Call of Duty boats. Mediocre sales. A sunk boats DLC. Platinum seller. Oh, okay. So I suppose what you're telling me is that we should not make a game about the Titanic sinking. Yeah, believe it or not, someone out there actually decided it would be a good idea to make a game based off of the Titanic. You know, the great Titanic disaster of 1912 where 1,500 people met their fate with Davy Jones in one of the deadliest maritime disasters in history. That's like making a game about the Pompeii volcano incident. Tap A quickly to not die as fast! For oh, silly <laughs> games like this one, Titanic Adventure Out of Time, I can kind of see where they were coming from at least. 
The Titanic was sort of a mysterious event, so they tapped into that and created a point-and-click adventure mystery game about it. It's pretty atmospheric, but it has that old, quirky, 90s PC game vibe. You know the yeah. one. I this remember one. this one. You came after all this time. Come on, lady, give me some space. Bring me <laughs> Yeah. Mm, I'm trying. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get there. Oh, there he is. Max Seidelman, Philadelphia, PA. Jim Belushi, is that you? Did you travel back in time to hide from the fact that you were in Hoodwinked? <laughs> it is good to see you up and about. You've been in your cabin the whole voyage. I bought the ticket. I'll do what I want. But that's not why we're here today. Now, yeah, that may be silly. That was good. What I have to show you right now defies explanation. An NES game based on Titanic, the movie. The movie? The movie! With any major commercial success, there's an inevitable influx of off-brand or unlicensed merchandise to capitalize on the hype. And apparently, Star James Wars. Cameron's yes. 1997 film Titanic was no exception. The movie grossed over $2 billion worldwide, and the only movie to pass it up since is James Cameron's very own Avatar with $2.7 billion. I get it was popular, but a video game about Titanic the movie and an NES game we have a Chinese company to thank for blessing us with this Yet game. Yeah, yeah, the Chinese. Shenzhen Nanjing, true prophets of our time. Titanic came out in 1997. I mean, the N64 and the PS1 were already out. Who was this meant to be marketed to? No, really. But moms? Kids? Anyone? The Iceberg fans? Anyone at all? Would you buy that? None of y'all wouldn't buy that. You're not fucking stupid. Oh, dude, why would you ruin a Famicom like that? Oh, would you just listen to that? That's because they can't afford several. Celine Dion Probably. would be so Probably. proud if she was still with us. You can pick from Rose or Jack. But with my thorough understanding of the film, I'm going to say that Rose is probably the better option. Hey, but what can I say? I've always been a fan of certain dudes. Let's go with Jack. <laughs> For some reason, Jack's name has like a, a blood splatter on it. Is that supposed to be symbolic? Good God, China! All about symbols. Couldn't even make the alphabet. Do not give up. Do not be discouraged. You will be able to get out of here. It's not even poetic. It's just like they're on opposite balconies yelling practical advice to each other. Now I gotta say, they knew what they were doing with this one. Starting us off right in everyone's favorite scene. Next to the sex car. <laughs> so far, so good. I haven't even touched a controller yet. This is just what he does when you stand still. Wipes head, spits, turns around, repeat. All right, this is fantastic. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, th this game barely has any controls, apparently. I'm, what? I don't even understand how to fucking move it. I, I, I bet you controlling the robot on Mars right now would be easier than this. And to do that, you have to send a goddamn signal off the sun in a robot and back to Earth. I bet there'd be less input lag. What did I expect? <laughs> You're just trying to get from one end of the map to the other while dodging rats and ghost barrels. Just another day on the Titanic, folks. I can't quite, I, I, I can't quite get on the crate here. Ah, God! Okay, died to a rat. Probably should have just waited to die the cool way, Jack, all right? It was, it was coming in like 20 minutes. You blew it on a rat. You blew it on a fucking rat. You can't even attack, or if you can, I don't know how. But they had to stay true to the film, didn't they? I mean, can you blame them? This is a story about love, not violence. <laughs> and low on hearts. I better pick one up so the rat doesn't get me again. Oh, so hearts equals lifesaver? Then what equals heart? I, I, I can't even begin to wrap my head around that. I have no idea how to replenish health, and I don't even think you can. The next level is the hull of the boat or something. Wow, I can't get past this part. Where do you go? Seriously, there's spikes on the floor, and there's no way around that I can see. This sucks. I don't even see anything oh that's God. killing him. There she goes. There it goes. I have never experienced a continue screen that made me feel that guilty. I mean, it's my fault that happened. I did the Titanic. <laughs> also, I just want to point out that the two choices we're given here are continue and start. Guys, stop. You're giving me too many options. I'm only one man here. Playing with Rose is hilarious, though. She actually picks up her dress to jump. Hey, game journalists, look at that. They're not sexualizing your women for once. Isn't it all you hoped for? So thank God that's over. <laughs> I mean, it's over, right? There's not, there's not more, right? I mean, surely there weren't two companies crazy enough to do something like this. 
right? John. Everyone at home? Apparently not. Are you sitting? I mean, probably weird if you were standing watching this. I mean, what do you mean? Yeah, you got some sort of standing desk? You think you're better than me, don't you? Now, there was one more company that made a game based on the Titanic movie craze. And it's not really possible to find it as a whole game, or at least I couldn't. It comes on this cartridge called the Super New Year 15 in 1 cart. Accurate name! Wow. Wow. Let me tell you, this game's expertly programmed. When you boot this game up, you're presented with a random selection screen that's sometimes in Chinese, sometimes in English, and sometimes without the full game list. If you're lucky and you get the right screen with all the games on it, you won't even know where to find the game because for some reason it's been split up into two pieces. If you want to play as Jack, it's called Hacker, and if you want to play as Rose, it's called Heroin. But, 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 but why though? Titanic. Titanic. <laughs> I would play a game on Earth. Yes, I would play a game on Earth. I would play a game on Earth. But I won't play that. Oh my God, what is that? I bet you thought that was a typo, huh? The name of the episode? Hey guys, look. John made a mistake on the internet. I bet there's a bunch of comments down there already about it, but I'll tell you what, I wish that was a typo. Because no one wants something like this for mankind. The fact that this exists means we already lost. Mm. Why bother changing the name if you're just going to steal the likenesses of the two main characters anyways? Oh, let me tell you, it's a good thing they didn't misspell Leonardo DiCaprio's face or we would have really had a problem. All right, let's begin. In 1912, there is a noble American girl, Rose. She tried to get away from her arranged married, which is forced by her mother. At the same time, she met Jack, who is the young man on t <gasps> Titanic. Titanic. Since Rose made a friend with Jack, he lighted on her life. Yeah, based on that car scene from the movie, I think he might have lighted on a couple of her other things, too. They were <laughs> yeah. also fall in love with each other. It made up a very touching and tragic love story. This is mostly just tragic. What the? F oh, oh, hey, Jack! I know the ship's sinking, but Apparently we gotta keep double dragon. You wanna add to the list of casualties? I don't think it was the iceberg that killed all those people. <laughs> I think it was Jack. Oh, the first thing when I saw the movie, the first thing I said out the theater, I interrupted the whole group. I said, where's the fighting? Well, to my surprise, this game actually controls well. The fighting is tight and responsive. It's pretty satisfying to punch dudes. You can finally punch the rats this time around. That's good. Is he, uh, is he reading a newspaper? Oh, he's, he's drawing. drawing. Get it? Because he draws in the movie? Remember? This is definitely accurate to the movie. Remember? You're only uh, missing a naked me, Kate uh, Winslet. Titanic management, I think you may have a well-endowed man standing in one of your grandfather clubs. <laughs> Oh, 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 the chef's fighting! Oh, the chef's mad. Now, I'll tell you what, that's bad. Chefs are natural pacifists. You piss a chef off, you've done something wrong. Oh, shit, sorry about that. I, I didn't see you standing there. What can I say? Tensions were high. In most games that involve burly men destroying everything, a health power-up would consist of something like a turkey leg or a roast chicken. But in this game, you pick up lobster and wine. The bougiest of beat em ups. <laughs> 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 Mr. T was in Hell yeah. Donatello. Is that, is is that Mr. T? Now that's a pretty dangerous combo right there. All right, we're on the next level. No, all right. Okay, hold the phone. Rats? Understandable. Bats? A bit weird, but I guess I can see. But cobras? Unless this ship was headed to a snake charming convention, this is absolutely unreasonable. Hey, okay, right. it's no wonder the ship went down between Jack beating up every capable person running it and fucking goddamn cobras everywhere. I can hear the snakes on a boat. Right now. Uh, yes, I'm looking out for icebergs, but currently I'm fending off a nest of cobras and a very aggressive man from Wisconsin. Also, I love when you punch the cobras. They react like they didn't even see it coming. They're just like, whoa, I'm out. That was a bad one. Ah, okay. <laughs> the lifesavers try to kill you in this game. I'm pretty sure this is the literal opposite of what a lifesaver is named for and supposed to do. How how did both of these games fail to use lifesavers as some sort of appropriate object? If, if you're asking me, that is proof of a grand deity right there, or maybe the proof of a lack of one. 
Oh yeah, that's right. I remember the part where Jack fights Herman Munster on top of a smaller ship on top of the Titanic. That was the best part. I don't even know what's this guy's problem. He attacks you by firing a gun angrily and thrusting his dick at you. I don't know, we're in international <laughs> waters. I guess anything goes. <laughs> Once you beat this guy, he's like, you have bested me. Here is the deed proving so. Man, 1910 times were weird. This time around, we're playing as Rose, who's a geisha ninja, apparently. Oh yeah, come on. Get him! Get him, Rose! You're an independent woman! Can't wow. forget the flying eggplants. Man, 1910 times were scary! <laughs> Alright, finally. Beat him. See you later, Herman Munster, again for some reason. Every night in my dreams, I, I see, see you. you. I feel you. you. It's beautiful. It yep. was the most beautiful love story I've ever seen. When we have kids, we're sitting out on a beautiful summer's night. I'm going to look you in the eyes, Rose. I'm going to be like, remember when you beat up that fat guy who was trying to kill you with a shotgun and knocked her and Munster off the Titanic a couple times? I'm glad we made it through that. I love you. You know what? I think you're right. On second thought, I, I don't think it's going to work. But I got one for you better. Schindler's List HD Remix. <laughs> Oh. JonTron is made possible in part by companies like Audible.com. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. If you feel like supporting JonTron, consider signing up for a 30-day trial at Audible.com using this link, audible.com slash JonTron. It's audiobooks, so if you like to listen to those, it's very good for that. If you don't like what you see, it's hassle-free. You can just cancel. My personal recommendation for you this month is Samuel L. Jackson's Go the Fuck to Sleep. Yeah, that's a real thing. <laughs> you can if you sign up right there, you get it free. you right to sleep. Till next time, folks. And don't forget, if you want to watch more John Trons, click those annotations. Okay, so those games are real. That's terrifying. Yep. Yet again, I'm just like, what the fuck? Bootlegs, dude. Bootlegs. That's all that can be said at this point. Bootlegs. It's drugs. Not even once. <laughs> I guarantee you that game on the cons or whenever the game if the games could talk to one another like Wreck-It Ralph like all of a sudden uh, one of them looks over the Titanic game and is just like why are you here and the other, and the Titanic just looks over and just goes drugs this is your brain this is your brain on bootlegs Don't do this is your brain. This is your brain on Titanic. That's a battery. This is a battery. This is what watching this game be played makes you want to do. You have a throat condition. You couldn't swallow a battery hole if you wanted to. <laughs> God damn it! I'll never deep throat again. <laughs> Sorry. Gross. Sorry. I know. I know. I know. Uh, but anyway, yeah. Uh, the Jantrans. Jantron. Uh, he. Uh, he. The. The. Good video, John. Good. Good. Good video. Um, damn. I I feel like I need a bath after watching that. I'm glad he plays that shit so I don't have to. He's like the nostalgia critic. Yeah. He's the nostalgia critic except for... He actually, like, one of his things he said in that video, he actually kind of sounded like Doug for a second. Which one? I can't remember. It was just the, his voice, like, kind of cracked and went kind of high like Doug does when he yells about stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's no. Well, d him and Doug have like worked together on certain things. Uh, John actually used to be a part of uh, that guy with the glasses dot com way back in the day. Oh. Way, way back in the day. Interesting. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so, I think the moral of this video is: don't make video games about just anything. And if you do, try and make them well. Try at least. Like at least the point in the click Titanic one was like 
sort of understandable to an extent. Yeah, there was some semblance of story there, even though you know it was very, like, very awkward. At least you didn't have like two completely like nonviolent characters from a completely nonviolent movie, like fucking in a beat 'em up game. <laughs> yeah, that's. Well, okay, because there was a little bit of fighting, or a little bit of uh, something, with Jack. Uh, you know, and you know, between him and the the bodyguard, even though Jack, you know, was pretty much like just got his ass kicked by him. So I'm glad they kind of have slacked off on making uh, video game adaptations for movies in general. You think? They were hardly ever good. Like, when's the last time that you remember seeing a uh, movie adaptation video game? been a little while hasn't it it has but at the same time it's almost like they started to realize that they don't make money off of those because nobody's gonna buy them because they're always shit (laughs) that is unless um it's the chronicles of riddick yeah well the chronicles of riddick's like the one exception yeah because it wasn't necessarily a game that was meant to coincide with the movie it was its own story told in the same universe with Vin Diesel's video game design studio and it was done for like uh, I guess like a labor of love essentially for the fan base of that universe even though it was probably minimal (laughs) because they weren't the greatest movies but still the game was badass Pitch Black was good Pitch Black was a good like a good sci-fi like horror movie concept Chronicles of Riddick is an attempt at a good action, a good sci-fi action movie, whereas the third one, Riddick, actually is pretty damn good. Oh, is it? Yeah, the third Riddick movie is actually, it's not as good as Pitch Black, but it's still pretty damn good. Not gonna lie, hmm. not gonna lie about that. Was always, I've always heard kind of bad things about them, but I always liked the game. The game Chronicles of Riddick was overhyped and concentrated on all the wrong things. Instead of like concentrating on uh, Riddick. Uh, you know, actually telling the story of who Riddick is in some way, you know, finding out his uh, lineage and finding out how he, his eyes got that way. Instead, we are, uh, instead, we're given this massive, grandiose story about the potential ruler of the universe coming to fight, and the only person who can stop him is Richard B. Riddick. And I'm like, wait, 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 hold on. We haven't even learned who the hell Riddick is, and we're already going to follow him on this Savior of the Universe storyline. Why not save that for the third film? Why not hype up something in the second film, but build enough of a story in the second film? Like, okay, the prison scene in the second film is good. I like the prison scene. But at the same time, it's so horribly mishmashed together, it halfway doesn't make sense. I'm sorry, but it. I, mm, I wanted to like the second film. I wanted to like the Chronicles of Riddick, but I couldn't find myself liking it because, to me, you you tried to progress the story too fast and you went in the wrong direction. You tried to tried to do the whole big, massive uh, blow off in the second film instead of waiting to do it in the third film like you should have. Yeah, well. That's that's just one of those things, I guess. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, Titanic. Can't believe that's a real game. I wish that wasn't or a real titanic. game. Titanic, yeah. Titanic. Titanic. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> I wonder if Leonardo DiCaprio has ever played that. I doubt it. I w- you know what I want? I want a video of him sitting down and actually playing through it and him just being like, how is this a thing? And him just being like, you know, if I was asked to do this stuff in the Titanic movie, I'd have probably asked for a sequel. He's like, this seems to be made by someone who saw a very different movie than the one that I acted in. Yeah. It's like, apparently they confused me and John Wick somehow. I'm not Keanu Reeves. But, okay. So, anyway... The JonTron, uh, the JonTron video, very funny. 
We recommend that you go watch it. If you want to go watch it, there's a link right down there in the description. Take you straight to uh, John Tron's original video. And also check out John Tron's channel. I mean, he's got a multitude of funny videos. And if there's any other John Tron videos out there you want us to watch, feel free to let us know in the comments down below. And uh, as always, if you want to check out our Discord and our Patreon, we'd greatly appreciate it. If you want to lay a request on us, uh, you can do that in our Discord. And um, yeah. Also, also, uh, if you want to hit that subscribe, the notification bell, and leave a like on the video, we would greatly appreciate it. So I guess until next time, signing off, I'm Nate. I'm Nate. We will see you all in the next one. Peace out.